Welcome back guys to another PvE build, this time with my Magicka Templar. This will be my last, probably my last PvE build for the Blackwood chapter. Keep in mind that I'm really a noob on a Magpla, I've never played it before and have big issues with jabs or puncturing sweep, so don't expect too much DPS. I managed to get 95k, but a good Magpla would be probably deal over 100k plus I would say. I pass with Sororia and Baza as Minia, the new trial set, and of course with the new mythic item, Harpuna's Wedding Kilt, which I still farm on the live server by the way. <laughs> I've also passed with uh, Diamond's Victory, the new crafting set. It's pretty much the same as Sororia, so if you don't have Sororia daggers or Inferno stuff, just go for the crafted set. Magpurs are still viable in raids and dungeon environments. Since we get minor sorcery, so another 6% spell damage for the entire group. Usually one of the healer plays Smuggler, just because there are better DPS options like Magicka Necromancers, Magicka Wardens, Nightblades, that kind of stuff. But as a DD, still decent. Especially in this patch, kinda balanced, if you are a good Smuggler, not like me, shit. <laughs> so let's get started with the showcase. The rotation is really easy. Just keep up your dots and use Punction Sweep as spammable in between. Keep this up until 31%, then replace Punction Sweep for Radiant Oppression, also called Jesus Beam by the way, and drop Mystic Orb, Solar Barrage and Channeled Focus out of your rotation. Start with Channeled Acceleration, afterwards swap back to Barb Trap with an add-on like Dressing Room, followed by Channeled Focus, here's a Sustain buff, then Mystic Orb, as you can see I'm far away from the target to not get immediately in combat, to gain the maximum burst damage, then step closer, Bar Swap, you use Shooting Star, Bar Swap again, and to reapply your dots. Start with Unstable Wall, followed by Solar Barrage, Bar Swap to Front Bar, use Purifying Light and Blazing Spears, and then spam basically Punching Sweep until the dot expire. If you have questions about it, type it in the comment section below. Now enjoy the pass.
Let's take a good look on the build. On the body, 5 pieces Sparza Asmania, the new trial set, which increases our DPS if our Magicka pool is low. But you have to drain your Magicka and you have to keep your Magicka as low as possible to gain the maximum DPS of the set. Otherwise, you should go for another set like Mana Sorrow or Medusa. Then the new mythic item, Harpoon's Wedding Killed. It gives us over 6% crit with 10 stacks and 10% crit damage. Super powerful mythic item. As Monster Helmet, uh, one Slime Core for extra crit. The second 5 set piece bonus is Zeroria on Jewelry, full bloodthirsty and with 2 daggers in precise with a poison and a flame damage enchant. You could go for the Zeroria Inferno stuff too. DPS wise, probably 2 or 3k less, but then you don't have to stay completely melee. On the back bar, like always, the Maelstrom Inferno stuff in infuse with the Berserker Glyph. Against Undeaths or Deedras, use the Onslaught Prismatic Glyph. Let's take a quick look on the skills. Front bar, Radiant Oppression, our Execute, which you should use at about 30%. Then Purifying Light, keep it up every 6 seconds. It's a powerful burst dot. Then our spammable Puncturing Sweep, which procs Burning Light 2, a powerful passive. Blazing Spear, a pretty weak dot. Initially, this kinda nice, but we mainly use it for Burning Light. Inner Light for extra sustain and max magicka. Shooting Star, our ultimate. On the back bomb, Mystic Orb, a powerful dot. Unstable or Fire, also powerful dot. Bark Trap for Minor Force. Solar Barrage, it gives us M Power, which increases our light attacks, so keep it up every 10 seconds. And Channeled Focus for Sustain. In Raids or Dungeons, if you don't have Sustain issues, you could even use Ritual of Distribution for even more damage. Our back by Ultimate, Crash and Sweep which is our main ultimate. I would use Meteor only at the beginning of a fight or maybe in the end for more burst damage. As a race, I'm Khajiit for 12% more crit damage. High Elf, Dunmore, are fine too. As Mundus, the Thief for extra crit. And as Buffwood, the Ghastly Eyeball. In raids, I recommend to use the Arteo Picklefish Bowl or even the green Max Magica food for even more Max Magica, so more damage. Potions, the normal spare power potions with Magica, Major Sorcery, and Major Prophecy. Quick look on the CPs. Blue ones are Backstabber, Fighting Finesse, the Deadly Aim, and Mastered Arms. If you can't flank the enemy, swap Backstabber for Biting Aura. Red CPs, Rejuvenation for Sustain, Boundless Vitality, Slippery and Ironclad. If you have issues to keep your Magicka low to proc Barzais, uh, just swap Rejuvenation for another one like Spirit Mastery for example to rest faster. That's the end of the video. If you like my content, sub my channel. Over 80% are still not subbed, do me the favor and click on this juicy sub button. I would really appreciate it. Check out my other PvE build videos, I will link them down in the description below. It's still hot as fuck here, I hope you can enjoy this wonderful weather. Not like me, still sitting here and cutting videos. <laughs> only for you guys, only for the content. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, stay healthy and I'll see you in the next video.